My name is Peter Bruninger with Amy Sharms. I'm here with Thomas Gow from ESD Acoustics. Yeah, good morning, Peter. Good morning, Thomas. How are you? Good morning, Pat. Thomas is a designer of a lot of the electronics we see in front of us here. Uh, he was also, uh, he helped with the design of the loudspeaker. He participated in it, but primarily you're focused on this. Yes, yes, yes. Well, so tell us what we have here. Products. Okay, uh, right over here is our uh, newly designed digital player. No, it's just a, a player for uh, digital sources. Uh, you can play ESD and PCM up to, you know, uh, PCM with uh, 768, you know, kilohertz and DSD uh, 5, 5 and 12. Yeah. Okay. And over here is our preamp, as with the next door, it's just a normal preamp with uh, six input and the independent gain adjust. You know, each input you can, you know, uh, like pre-program a gain for each channel. So it's a, a selector and also a volume controller. So it's a touch like, screen too. Yeah, it's yeah. touch screen, yeah. but it's yeah. analog, uh, you know, uh, volume control with all those uh, ne network ladder. Okay. It's all those relays and network ladder. It has 40 dB, uh, uh, Controlled gain mm -hmm. is a uh, with one dB step. Mm -hmm. You know, each step is uh, one dB adjusting. Perfect. Yeah. And over here is our DAC. This one is our DAC. It can support like uh, AES input, you know, uh, BNC, coax, optical, and USB and HDMI for I squared S, uh, you know, uh, format. And uh, you can support say up to you know, PCM uh, 700. 68 uh, kilohertz and uh, DSD 512 like that. Uh, it, it uses two piece of uh, DS, no, I think that is ESS uh, 903, 938 mm -hmm. Pro, yeah, that's that, uh, that the best chip, DSA chip in the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <coughs> and of course it is uh, pat patented uh, I2E converter mm -hmm. and the analog uh, low pass filter. Got it. So you uh, can provide us with uh, natural sound, not like all the other you know, digital uh, converter. Mm -hmm. And down here is our, uh, on the side is the, uh, the, the amplifier, the single ended uh, class A amplifier with 100 watt you know, uh, constant power dis dissipation. Mm -hmm. And it can produce up to 200 watt output at peak. At peak. Uh, we yeah. use them uh, to drive the uh, horn. When you use them to drive the horns, we use like 10 watt or so. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in class A, the, the lower the, the output power, the, the better the quality, of course. And over here is our brand new, actually it's the first, the actual first prototype of our uh, all-in-one integrated uh, power amplifier. Uh, it is integrated by with a DAC and a Class AB power amplifier, and it can support like uh, Bluetooth and some other normal uh, digital input mm -hmm. as well. And the outputs like uh, it has an analog signal output for better amplification. Mm -hmm. Amplification if you have any you know, processor and mm -hmm. uh, a normal speaker output. I want to add to that the fit and finish is impeccable. On it, you have a carbon fiber in my on top of yours. You'll yes, see here yes. in the photo that I'm showing you now. Uh, just beautiful looking. Um, tell us a little bit about the Panda. Yeah, the Panda uh, is uh, is a bookshelf. It's a bookshelf speaker. The low frequencies were uh, come out from the uh, eight inch uh, titanium sandwich dome. Mm -hmm. I think it's cone. Of course, it's cone. And the, the highs will come will come from. Uh, Three inch beryllium dome, mm -hmm. and uh, the entire chassis were uh, aluminium, mm -hmm. 25 millimeters thick. Mm -hmm. And it is also a uh, fuel coiled, and the uh, fuel coil power supply were integrated, so it needs an extra power force to drive the speakers. Got it. And the integrated power supplies uh, can, you know, pro provide efficient, sufficient uh, what's the voltage. Yeah, voltage and uh, to 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 achieve the 
design to make an active flux. Got it. Like, like that. And also, the aluminum chassis serves as a heatsink as well because uh, fuel coils were quite, you know, uh, uh, heat. Uh, there were a lot of heat in the fuel coils. Mm -hmm. Well, and they were warm to the touch viewers. Yes, it's already quite yeah, warm. Yeah, right it's now. Quite warm. <laughs> yeah, we were listening to a couple of tracks before we started shooting, and uh, the sound is beautiful. I'm surprised at how much low frequency information we're getting from such a small format speaker. And then the other speaker we'll do after we do the PAGA, we're going to play the cranes. And viewers, you, if you saw the video from the Capitol Audio Fest, the crane speaker is a extraordinary speaker. It's uh, extremely heavy in weight, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's almost 249 uh, kilograms. It's very heavy. It's got little wheelie roll, roller wheels on it so you can move it around. It's a beautiful outspeaker. It won a gold show award uh, at the Capitol Audio Fest, so that's a big deal. Okay. So that's got that's a three-way design, correct? Uh, it is three-way hybrid crossover. That's right, hybrid, yeah. hi hybrid crossover. Yes. Well, let's do some listening. What do you say? Of course. Okay, that's what we're here so for. Let's, let's Thank you very much for the walkthrough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, audience.
Thank you. Thank you. 